What is up, guys? The real Damon Jackson here, and well, I'm back after a long break, and I'm really sorry. But today, I finally have an interesting video. So, this is Fiesta Wear. Um, it's blue. Now, I've never seen uh, blue Fiesta Wear shown off on the internet, but I I just found this. It's not my mom's house right now. And, uh, basically, um, uh, I guess we got it at a garage sale, and we don't know how old it is, but I looked on this company's website, and they don't sell it anymore, so it must be pretty old, and it's also radioactive, so they not only used uranium in red glaze, which is now deemed radioactive red for... <clears throat> no reason, but they also use it in other colors such as blue. It's just less detectable. So here's my Geiger counter Right now. It's about seven counts per minute or it was like 14 earlier Basically, it steadily climbs until it hits to, well, I just did this a couple minutes ago, so uh, the maximum, oh, it's weird to put my finger there, but the maximum right there is uh, what its height was. So it got a little bit above what is considered normal background, which is 50 for this Geiger counter. And... Uh, So, yeah, basically, uh, oh, the radiation is also heavier where the glaze is heavier. So these dark spots right here, it's more glaze. So I'll just move it over. So yeah, basically they used uh, uranium oxides in old Fiesta Ware um, ceramic plates and stuff, like coating it. And obviously that's radioactive, and because it's a dissolvable form of uranium, the heavier... This, this plate's safe to eat off of. I've actually eaten off of this plate many times, but... Uh, the red, the red type of Fiesta wear, um, it has up to 20% uranium by weight. So that's, that's quite a bit. And this obviously doesn't have that much because you're getting a still detectable, re but relatively low reading. Like just above, uh, the background. But the issue was not just touching it or doing stuff like that, or looking at it for you radiophobes. But the issue was that if you ate something acidic, which a lot of foods are, like spaghetti or something, would be an example because of the tomato sauce, um, it would actually dissolve some of the uranium oxide, and it would leach it out of the plate and put it into your food. So you'd be eating uranium salts. And it's not good for you. Uh, it's not nice for your insides, but it would the heavy metal itself would probably hurt you more, the toxicity, than the radioactivity. See, it's already up to 36 counts per minute. And I'm American, so I use counts per minute. I'm sorry for those people... Okay, so everybody else, it is 0.25 microsieverts per hour, because I know um, professionals and other countries use that a lot, but I like counts per minute. <laughs> it's 
Let's see. Ooh, here's a spike. I'm gonna see 40. Um, yeah, that's what I wanted to show off because I haven't seen any videos on the blue Fiesta Ware yet. Probably because of the radiation is so low. Well, this detector also doesn't pick up alpha, so it's probably much higher. Probably my hand is just getting blasted with alpha particles right now. But this is beta and gamma. That is coming out of the plate from uranium itself and the daughter isotopes of uranium. So thorium and things. Whatever, there's, there's lots of stuff in this plate by now. So, uh, again, sorry for the lack of videos, but just wanted to show off this plate real quick. More videos will be coming up soon. If you want, you can, uh, watch, like, comment, and subscribe. So, comment your ideas about what should I, you know, what things I should make videos on next. I was going to do some different element videos. Like, uh, how shiny different metals are and stuff. I don't know how well it will work because they're in glass, but whatever. Whatever works. Internet. Nah. But anyways, see you in the next video. Have a great day.